Hey guys, welcome to Replicode. Today I'm going to show you how to manually install Firebase into your Swift project. Uh, Firebase is a really powerful service that allows you to sync your apps to a database in real time. Um, some people may prefer the CocoaPods install, but uh, I like the manual install, so let's get right into it. First, you're going to want to download the iOS client library. And let's unzip that. And then let's create a new uh, Xcode project here. Single view application is fine. Call it my first Firebase app. And right on the desktop is fine. So let's go ahead and grab that framework folder. This one with the Lego block here. And we're just gonna drag it right into our project. And make sure you have copy items if needed selected. Now in our app target, we're going to want to go to build phases, uh, link binary with libraries. And we want to add this list of libraries into our project. So first one is libbacore. No idea how to say that. libc++. CF network security framework and system configuration. So uh, that's pretty much it. We're ready to go and start coding now. So let's hop into our view controller. And first thing we're going to want to do is import Firebase. And we have to make a reference to our Firebase. So let's go let, let ref equals Firebase. And we have to enter a URL here. So this URL is the address of your Firebase app on, on firebase.com. So I've already created mine. It's replicode-1.firebase.io. So I copy that address and I in quotations paste that there. So already we're set up to start writing to the database. Let's go to ref set value to hello I'm here. Now if we were to run our project got my simulator open. We'll see, our app doesn't do all that much, but at least it's writing, hello, I'm here, to our database. So let's just make it a little more interesting. In our storyboard, I'm gonna add a label. Text field. And a button. Let's call that set to Firebase. Because I'm lazy, I'm just going to resolve these with auto layout. So hopefully, they're all set up now. We're going to need to link these to our view controller. So let's select the label and just add a few outlets here. Let's call that label. Text field. Can type. And instead of an outlet, we're going to add an action. First, I'm going to set an observer 
that listens for changes or additions or anything from my Firebase. And we'll run this block of code. So let's let message equal snapshot value as string. And now we're going to set the label. that message there. So let's give that a shot and see if it works. Awesome. So we have our message, hello, I'm here on our label. Um, none of this does anything yet. So let's add that. When person handles or clicks send, we want to write to the Firebase. value whatever message is in the is in the text field so that should be about it let's give it a run so and that says hello I'm here hello I'm here that is so stupid But yeah, there we go, that's awesome. So we can see if we open up our Firebase that these changes are happening in real time. What's up? Firebase. Perfect. So yeah, this was just a simple setup video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, in future videos, I wanna show you guys how to use Firebase to make uh, online collaborative tools, uh, maybe a multiplayer uh, iOS game. So um, all this to come and more. Thanks for watching, bye.